Today on Hopped Up Beer Review, we're going to be reviewing Neapolitan Squeeze from Prairie Artisan Ales. It's a sour ale with vanilla, strawberry, cocoa nibs, and lactose. Thank you for joining us. Hey everybody, welcome to Hopped Up Beer Review, the show where we give you our unprofessional and somewhat biased opinion about the beer we are drinking and reviewing. We are back to do this once again because we like it. I've got Andy in the attic. I've got Jay. What are we drinking today? Today we're going back to Prairie Arches and Ales. We're going to try their Neapolitan Squeeze. As, Jim, as Ben likes to put a jingle to it, but I think we're just going to crack it and avoid his jingle. Don't crack. Oh. Did you read the can? So this is what I'm having. Squeeze. I am having serious issues with what Gently I... Gently agitate before opening. Gently agitate before opening. Now, does it mean shake the can or yes. get on Ben's nerves? Agitate. Shake. Shake and tap down. I rolled it, maybe. Now I'm cracking, Andy. Thank you Do for it. for telling me about the uh, agitate. Oh, nothing bad happened. Nothing oh, bad happened. Something bad happened. Me. <laughs> <laughs> well, the joke's not on us. Way to go. <laughs> not originally. Here's my agitation. I did not. I did not shake mine. I, I simply rolled it. Gently but agitate. You can see the reason to do that when you pour it. Mm -hmm. Oh, the sweet. <laughs> I say flocculence. Chunculence. Yes. Lots All of right. extra goodies in there. Get my glass uh -huh. ready. Hmm. I don't know why I didn't grab that towel. <laughs> wow. Chocolate milk here. No, strawberry milk. Mm. Maybe I got that. chocolate, you got strawberry. <laughs> and, and you got vanilla. It's like a like a root beer float or something like that. <laughs> wow, it's it's already coating. Oh yeah, it's already completely coated my glass. Mm. I poured it, but it smells <laughs> really we good. We all got some you Ben's got some you hoo. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. That is very interesting, which I would expect nothing less from Prairie at this point. I, I am curious how you're going to take vanilla as strawberry and lactose and make it sour. I can picture the berry part of it. And you'd have to put a ton of berries in there, as it appears they have. You could barely get the cocoa on the back. Yeah, that's what I was struggling trying to to see if I could pick that out. I'm, but I'm getting some uh, some grinds of, I'm guessing that strawberry puree. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> little crunchies. It definitely looks like little strawberry seeds or vanilla. You know, vanilla also has little seeds. Yeah, it's extremely mine's extremely carbonated. Yeah, mine's not it's anymore. It. It's just popping on the top. Mm. Interesting. My mouth, it's like a pop rocks. <laughs> well, we've pretty much said what all there is to say about this. This was another one that they did not um, even have on their website. Hmm. It is 4.7% sour ale. Um, it's not part of a particular series that they've indicated, not like the treat series on the other ones. And cocoa nibs, vanilla, strawberry, and lactose. Prairie artisan ales. Uh, early, early episodes of uh, Hopped Up Beer Review, which we've covered. Prairie artisan ales, we have indicated they were from Krebs, Oklahoma. 
They were acquired by Krebs Spring Company. Yeah, cool history. Spicy pickle monster. Check it out. We're gonna make Ben <laughs> pop up another link uh... somewhere. But really cool history. But since then, we have noticed that they have indicated that they are producing out of McAllister, Oklahoma instead. And their tap room that you can actually go to uh, on site as a guest is in Oklahoma City. So there, check out Spicy Pickle Monster to get a cool history about outlaw beer, immigrants, Italian restaurants. See what chalk beer is. Mm. I'm done. You're done. <laughs> done. So it's kind of a cool can, though. I like the the can art. I don't know if one of you could show it. You might get a better view of it from y'all's lighted angle than mine. Yeah. So you got the very hairy wrists. Yeah, with the thick chubby, King yeah. Charles fingers. Kind of that uh, waffle cone in the background type. So, yep. Hmm. Interesting. For sure. Mm -hmm. Have you had this oh. one, Jay? Since I have you've not. been supplying all the prairie here lately. I have not had this one. I saved it for you guys. All right. Well, anybody want to go first? I've gotten better at it. Hmm. nobody wants to go first wow ben i think you're up <laughs> i am i'm gonna call for real quick though excuse me all right pardon <laughs> me there um <laughs> so another fun one from prairie uh if you like trying unique beers you know i mean you know we we've mentioned it here andy did the spicy pickle monster we've had tiny s's we've had dole whip right here uh we've had a lot of their beers they're all very interesting you know another one that comes to mind just off the top that's another interesting beer but not prairie you know banana bread that was a really interesting beer as well uh, Andy's going andy, to you. andy thoroughly enjoyed um interesting but this one an, another fun beer um and you know, these are the kinds that obviously they're a little, you know, a little bit different. They're off the scale of of what beer, what you normally think of beer, uh, which makes them kind of fun. I think that the ones that we've had, they are all really close to what they claim to be uh, or what they're trying to emulate. Um, and this one's no different. Uh, Neapolitan ice cream is one that I enjoy just because of the the mixture of flavors. Um, one of my favorite things to get in the world is the freeze dried ice cream packs that you get, you know, that NASA makes or whoever. And it's, they've got the Neapolitan freeze dried ice cream. Uh, it's a, you know, it's just a great treat. That's kind of what comes through here a little bit for me in the sense that sometimes with the freeze dried ice cream, you ever had it, you know, it's real hard. If you ever have that, you might end up with a little bit of each flavor on a bite. Or I guess you get an ice cream too. That's kind of obviously the mix, you know, and I think they do, it really matches pretty close to what you get when you mix all three flavors, um, which is obviously why they named it this. So I think it's fun. Um, definitely not one you're going to drink more than, than one of, uh, or I'm not anyway, you guys might feel differently there, but, um, but it's a fun dessert beer. Um, I think, uh, for this one, I'm going to go with seven and a half. Uh, I, I do like it. Uh, I would drink it again. I'm just not going to drink it often or several at one sitting. I'll speak. Speak. speak right? Ag agreed. It mm -hmm. is a mix of multiple flavors, which makes it difficult to pick out one particular flavor and all i get from it is sour um a mix of multiple sours in one so it's like ah, i'm trying to really try and pull out strawberry or vanilla or, or cocoa or cacao excuse me cacao nibs c-a-c-a-o sorry just want to be true to the cacao plant. 
I called it Coco in the intro, but yeah. I'm not redoing it. So. I know how you do it. Uh, I messed up earlier too, man, so we can admit that. Um, I was hoping for more, uh, but I will give it um, some a higher mark than the um, what was the last day? the gummy the patches. Uh, it's it still makes me feel like it's a sour. I get that sour that hit that tart sour hit at the back of the mouth and then the corners and all. Um, just um, kind of bland on the flavor. Um, it's hoping for a little more, so I'll give it a seven point hmm. <clears throat> All right, Jay. So it's interesting. If you put your nose over it, you can smell the cacao. And in my opinion, that's where it's it's most prevalent. I, I don't taste it that much. Um, when I think of sours, I think of berries and you know citrus and things like that that drive you more towards a sour. I don't ever think of cacao or uh, a vanilla having much and quite frankly i think those would always get overpowered if you put any type of berry or citrus in there so i'm not really surprised that to me the the overpowering flavor is the strawberry aspect of it um i think they did a really really good job of putting it together uh i'm like andy i'm a little a little disappointed because I wanted a little more out of it. I didn't know what to expect. Um, I really like it though. Um, so I think I'm going to go with a seven and a half. I'll drink it again, but I agree with you, Ben. I mean, you can't have more than one of these at a time. It's just, it's a dessert beer by, by far. That is going to give us a 7.3 for the Neapolitan squeeze from Prairie Artisan Ales in somewhere in oklahoma uh they keep moving on us so go watch the uh, beginning of the video where they're the tapping in oklahoma city oklahoma city okay yep um but they've got a lot of fun beers uh they're not kind of the standard uh so uh yeah i, I can definitely hear slurpy dave saying blimey uh because we're reviewing some of these that are a little bit different but if you haven't checked out slurpy dave go do so i'll put the link down in the description he's got a great channel uh, over on the Isle of Man and in the uh, rest of the UK. Uh, big fan of his. So uh, with that, if you've made it this far, be sure to like, subscribe, and cheers that notification bell on this channel. And uh, check us out on social media. So links are below in the description. Come say hey in our Discord server. We'd love to see you there. For Andy in the attic and Jay, I've been. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. Thanks.